I mean two pieces and so this middle flap I leave hanging but I tie this one more time just so it's secure so this is the part that needs to be secure on your head so um, once you have it secured then it shouldn't move off of your head. So that means that how secure it is right now, you can make these three flaps as loose as possible to give you that bun look, you know? So what I do is I just take the center flap and I just pull it back, but I pull it back loosely. And then I take these two flaps and tie a knot loosely on top of the center flap. And even though it's tight right now, we can make it looser once we get it secured. So then for these flaps, I just tie them randomly, however, loosely. And then any part that doesn't look finished, like, you know, these ends aren't finished, then I'll just tuck these under right here. And again, it's loosely. It's not even tight or anything. So now for this section... I can now like move it to make it even more puffy and shape it however I want. I usually like to let it go a little bit on my forehead because I have a big forehead. So I kind of create an illusion that, you know, I don't have a big forehead. <laughs> this is how I usually tie my scarf if I'm just lounging around the house because, of course, as a natural, our hair is usually protected. I'm usually with my Whoopi Goldberg color purple um, twists or braids. And just to look cute for myself and for my fiance, Devin, I usually have on a scarf like this and he really likes it and I like it I think it's stylish I like the scarf I usually find my scarves at like Goodwill or I'll go to Target or Ross Marshalls there's so many different places you can find scarves um, but yeah so the print is fun and I usually try to dress it up so I feel very comfortable running errands, going to the store, going to get my nails done, whatever. I feel comfortable wearing it. That's right. In the middle of the day now, baby.